Hi and hello everyone. How do you do? I hope you are all fine. Already we have discussed the transformation of sentences. That is simple, complex and compound. First four types we have discussed in the part one. Now we are going to discuss remaining types. That is simple, complex and compound. Well at the time of teaching first four types I told you that if you learn first four types that is simple compound and complex you can score how many marks seven marks that is simple compound complex two marks combining of sentences two marks phrase preposition one mark link words one mark spot the errors one mark totally seven marks now I am saying if you listen these two types, you can get another one mark. Totally, you can get eight marks. How? We can discuss. Now, listen carefully. Now, I am going to start teaching that adverbial class of condition. If you learn these two types, in next class, we can have a discussion on combining of sentences using if class and tenses in the, tenses in the conditional class that's why i'm saying listen carefully while at the time of teaching these two types come let us discuss see adverbial class of condition simple i have given the rule in the event of or in case of in the event of or in case of in first part i told that whatever comes in that simple sentence that is phrase whatever comes in the simple sentence that has to be considered as phrase in compound sentence, I have used AND. What is AND? AND is a coordinate conjunction that is CC. What is the work of that conjunction? Connecting the two sentences. It acts as a bridge between the two main classes. That's why we are saying as coordinate conjunction. Next is complex sentence. In complex sentence, I have used IF. IF is a subordinate conjunction. If subordinate conjunction is there, that has to be considered as subordinate class. So, subordinate class is used in conditional class if that is subordinate conjunction. If subordinate conjunction is there, that is that has to be considered as subordinate class. What is the work of subordinate class means? Subordinate class is a dependent class, always depends upon the main class. Already we have discussed the first four types. Now we are going to discuss adverbial class of condition that is if. So first sentence, if you work hard, you will pass. If you work hard, you will pass. What they have given if. So if it is there, that has to be considered as complex sentence. Complex sentence. If it is there, if it is a subordinate conjunction. If you work hard, it's a subordinate clause. So you will pass is a main class. So one subordinate class, one main class, that has to be considered as complex sentence. Again, I am saying if it is there, if it is a subordinate conjunction, subordinate conjunction is there, that has to be considered as subordinate class. So one subordinate class plus one main class, that has to be considered as complex sentence. Now we have to change this complex sentence as compound sentence. While you are changing that complex sentence into compound, what I have told, you have to remove the subordinate conjunction. If you remove the subordinate conjunction, automatically the sentence will become as main class. See, work hard. Here no need of using you. Better you write work hard. What conjunction they have given means and. So I am writing and. And is a coordinate conjunction. Another one main class is there. Already I told that you should not disturb the main class. What is the main class? You will pass. So see, work hard and you will pass. Don't write. You work hard and you will pass. Better you indirectly it refers you only. That's why no need of using here you. Better you write work hard and you will pass. See two main classes. 
that are connected with one coordinate conjunction that is a compound sentence in complex what i have done if you are card you will pass i have removed the subordinate conjunction and i have introduced the coordinate conjunction work card and you will pass subordinate conjunction and coordinate conjunction will not come in the sentence so that's why i have removed the subordinate conjunction and i have introduced the coordinate conjunction compound sentence now we are going to change it as simple sentence simple sentence means first we have to introduce the phrase in the even of this is the phrase see in the event of or either we can use in the event of or in case of but if you are using in the event of means here we have to use the article the in the event of while you are writing in case of means you should not use the article you have to write only in case of so either you can write in the event of or in case of you can write in the event of ever here what they have given what is the main verb that you have to make it as ing so in the event of working hard so you can write in both the ways in the event of you are working hard or in the event of working hard either we can use you are or not that is not at all yeah problem we can use in the event of you are working hard or in the event of work plus ing that is in the event of working hard you can write you will pass you will pass this is adverbial class of condition in adverbial class of condition in simple sentence we can use in the event of you are working hard you will pass otherwise in case of working hard you will pass otherwise in the event of you are working hard you will pass don't use work already told that your phrase does not contain your verb if you are using that work means the entire sentence is wrong that's why i have used at least you keep it in your mind in the event of verb plus ing in case of verb plus ing if you have learned this type well then it will be very easy come let us discuss the same sentence have used in that next type this is adverbial class of condition negative so in that simple sentence we are using in the event of not that we have used in if class that we have used in the event of we have not yet used not but here we are using not in the event of not or in case of not compound sentence we have to use must or should either we can use must or should plus or or else or otherwise or or else or otherwise here complex sentence i have used unless in adverbial class of condition what i have used if i have used here i have used unless you just you turn the letter u you turn like this automatically that will become as n that we have to use not unless means negative to keep easily in your mind you just turn that u that you make it as n that is negative so adverbial class of positive that is type 5 now type 6 adverbial class of condition that is negative see the same sentence unless you are caught you will not pass already told whenever the unless is there not will be there unless you are caught you will not pass in that for in that first that we have discussed if you were caught you will pass but here unless you are caught you will not pass so unless is there so unless where i have used in complex so unless is a subordinate conjunction unless is a subordinate conjunction so subordinate conjunction is there up to that comma that has to be considered as subordinate clause unless you are caught subordinate clause you will not pass this is main clause so one subordinate clause plus one main clause that has to be considered as complex sentence that is negative already i told unless is there not will be there so unless you are caught you will not pass that we use if you are caught you will pass now we are going to change that complex sentence into compound see compound sentence what we have to use you either we can use must or should that is your wish you must here yeah. 
we can use must or should you must work hard i have used you must work hard or or otherwise or else here you have the option must or should here also you have the option we can use or or else otherwise so you must work hard or you will not pass this is compound sentence you must work hard or you should work hard otherwise you will not pass you must work hard or else you will not pass whenever or is there that we can use or or else otherwise so compound sentence i have removed the subordinate conjunction and i have introduced the coordinate conjunction what is the work of conjunction coordinate conjunction connecting the two sentences so it has connected the two main classes now we are going to change that compound sentence into simple sentence simple sentence see in the event of not it will be very easy to keep it in your mind in the event of not what they have given the verb work that you make it as working see in the event of not working hard you will not pass see that we have used in the event of working hard you will pass here in the event of not working hard you will not pass otherwise in case of not working hard you will not pass so if you throw these two sentences you can get another one mark while at the time of writing tenses in the conditional class okay next time that is two two model what is that model two two model see two plus two plus verb what is the meaning of two plus verb infinitive two plus verb is infinitive better you can keep it in your mind two two model are two plus infinitive in compound sentence we have to use very and so if it is present we have to use cannot if it is past we have to use could not in complex sentence we have to use so that cannot or could not don't get confused while at the time of teaching adverbial class of reason i have said in compound sentence we can use and so i am not feeling well and so i am unable to attend the class that we have used and so but here we are using very and so the difference between adverbial class of reason and to to model so now we can discuss say the sum is too difficult for me to solve what is the meaning of the sentence the sum is too difficult for me to solve what is the meaning the sum is difficult i am not able to solve that is the meaning am i right the coffee is too hot for me to drink what is the meaning the coffee is too hot that i cannot drink it that is the meaning of the sentence so the sum is too difficult for me to solve means that is simple sentence see too difficult plus two plus verb they are given two plus verb we when our two plus verb two plus present verb must be there two plus past verb should not be there that has to be considered as infinitive now we are going to change that simple sentence as compound sentence how the sum is without changing the sense of the sentence you have to change they have used difficult or too difficult they have used only too difficult not difficult so without changing the sense you have to write the sum is what we have to write too difficult means very difficult the sum is very difficult and so that is coordinate conjunction the sum is very difficult and so for whom the sum is very difficult for me they have used me that we have to use only i if they are giving for us we have to use we 
that you have to keep it in your mind they are giving me or we me means i the sum is very difficult and so i i told that cannot here what the verb is there is is there this is a present verb be verb that is present is so that we can use cannot if they are giving was here we can use could not so the sum is very difficult and so i cannot i cannot solve it here we have to use only cannot if they are giving was means and so i could not solve it that we can use could not so the without changing the sense we have changed the sentence the sum is very difficult and so i cannot solve it now complex sentence how we have to change the sum is without changing the sense we have to change already it told the sum is so difficult the sum is so difficult that i cannot solve it see the sum is too difficult for me to solve means it's very difficult for me to solve that i am not able to solve the sum is very difficult and so i cannot solve it the sum is so difficult that i cannot solve it so it is a important model keep it in your mind next this is to to model now must plus to plus verb already it told if and unless while while comparing hard work which will help you always be smart work working hard always you cannot get success you have to work hard and then we have to do that smart work unless until you can't get success that's why now we discuss to to model now must plus to plus verb that is infinitive compound sentence then only can or else cannot here so that can see we must eat see must eat to live we must eat to live that we have used the sum is too difficult for me to solve the sum is too difficult to solve the coffee is too hot to drink here we must eat to live they have given must plus to plus verb now i am going to change it they change the simple sentence as compound sentence we must eat then only we can live see they have given we that's why i have used the verb we we must eat then only we can live that is must eat then only we can live otherwise you can write we must eat or else we cannot live the sentence can be written as we must eat then only we can live otherwise we must eat or else already told whenever or is there or or else otherwise we can use either or or else otherwise so we must eat or else we cannot live if you are writing then only means can or else means cannot that is the difference between these two now while we are changing into complex sentence we must eat so you should not change must 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 that is must plus to plus verb model we must eat so that so i have given so that so that we can live see we must eat to live we must eat then only we can live we must eat so that we can live so do you understand the difference between to to model and must plus to model in already we have discussed if and unless now we have discussed to plus to and must plus to okay next ninth type simple sentence subject plus verb plus object that is simple model ninth model is very very simple but important model compound sentence subject plus verb plus object the same but here we have to use and it is or was 
but we have to use and it is or was if it is present use is if it is past use was in complex sentence we have to use the same subject plus verb plus object but we are we have to use relative pronoun what is the relative pronoun which that whose who when where these are all the relative pronouns that here we have to use say i bought an old house what's the sentence i bought subject verb an old house is a verb so this is a simple sentence i bought an old house now we are going to change it simple sentence as compound sentence it is very simple so subject i bought verb what i have bought i bought a house because here they have given o a e i o u in front of the vowels we have to use an article but we are not going to use old we are going to write only i bought a house subject verb object i bought a house now i am going to use and next i am going to use it and it by bought bought don't write by 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 bought bought bring brought brought like that i bought a house bought is a past tense so i bought a house and it was as i told if it is past tense that we have to use only was i bought a house and it was old for example i read a humorous story i read a story and it was humorous simple i read a story and it was humorous read 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 same spelling but read 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 different pronunciation next is the complex sentence see in complex sentence the same i bought a house that is subject verb object i bought a house here we have to use house non living things in front of that we have to use only which are that i bought a house which was old simple i bought an old house i bought a house and it was old i bought a house which was old i read a humorous story i read a story and it was humorous i read a story which was humorous simple but very important model next last but not least tenth model that is besides being we have discussed in spite of being being also we discuss now we are going to discuss besides being are besides plus verb plus ing compound not only but also no complex sentence for this model so besides see besides being means in addition to besides means in addition to so besides being a good batsman arun is a great fielder what's the meaning he is not only a batsman but also a great fielder so now we have to change the sentence by using not only but also how you have to write besides being you leave it start that arun what's the subject arun is not only a good batsman but also but also a great fielder simple besides being a good batsman arun is a great fielder arun is not only a good batsman but also a great fielder you may ask sir why we are using being a verb plus ing see is is there am is or be verbs if be verbs in the sentence we have to use be plus ing that is being be plus ing that is being so see if they are asking the sentence arun is not only a good batsman but also a great fielder how will you write besides you have to write being you should not write verb plus ing they have given the verb is besides being a good batsman arun is a great fielder in simple sentence you should not use also arun is a great fielder that's all see by using verb plus ing arun not only arun is not only in arun not only build a big house but also bought an imported car what's the sentence arun not only built 
build present build is past tense built a big house but also bought an imported car how you have to write means arun arun you should not directly write arun so some of the students they are writing arun you should not write arun how you have to start besides besides now what they have given verb what is the verb built is the verb so we cannot add along ing along with the past tense we are adding ing only along with the present verb so besides building besides building a big house now we have to introduce the subject here we should not introduce in phrase you should not introduce the subject so that's why i have given that mark so besides building a big house arun bought and imported car do you understand the difference between c besides building means arun not only built so here they are giving arun is not only a good batsman if b verb is there use b if main verb is there use verb plus ing that is the difference between these two sentences so in part 1 we have discussed first four types in part 2 we have discussed remaining six types totally successfully we have completed 10 types if you are thorough with these 10 types then how many marks you can get already i told in public you can score totally eight marks again i am saying simple compound complex two marks combining of sentences two marks phrase preposition one mark link words one mark spot the errors one mark and tenses in the conditional one mark totally you are going to get eight marks now another bonus is there for us another two marks next class we are going to discuss that is starters or beginners starters or beginners for the two marks totally 10 marks why we are giving more importance for simple compound complex is the weightage of marks is more for that type that's why again and again i am saying you throw this 10 types you can get 10 marks 10 types 10 marks you listen in next class we can discuss combining of sentences using only if class by using if how we can combine the sentence not only that apart from that we can discuss starters for that two marks so listen carefully and watch the videos and start practicing then you can learn easily thank you for watching thank you have a nice day